Have you been playing a bunch of Jujutsu shenanigans? Have you also seen other players pull out these insane combos and tricks from out of nowhere? Well, I'm here to give you the full guide on Jujutsu shenanigans so you too can throw your enemy through five floors of a building. In this video, I'll go over Battleground basics, each character along with individual tricks, and some more cool tips and tricks. Let's start out with the Battleground basics. Like every Battlegrounds game, you have the basic movements as well as a dash in four directions using Q. The forward dash will also attack your enemy, and you can also hold F to block. One thing that makes this battleground game different is the fully destructible environment, so make sure to use this to your advantage. Since there wasn't much to cover for the basics, we should hop straight into the characters. First up, Gojo. Gojo, or the Honored One, has a very basic moveset that can be enhanced with some great tech knowledge. His first move, Laps Blue, acts like a command grab. You need to click or be facing the direction of an enemy you wish to grab. Once you pull them forward, you can kick them up in the air. This is a very strong move, but easy to read since your enemy can just see you waiting to pull them in and block it. There are ways to enhance this move and make it stronger, but we'll talk tricks after I cover all the other moves. Next up is Reversal Red. This is a simple move where you send a projectile that explodes. This deals high damage but is easily avoidable. Best to use this move when you've stunned your enemy and deplenished their ragdoll cancel. This projectile also does a lot of environmental damage, so feel free to use it to open up some holes or prank enemies with destruction. Rapid Punches is Gojo's third move. This move, once hit, hits your opponent a bunch of times before leaving them open to a combo extension. This move must be used point blank, so make sure to start an M1 combo before using this move to guarantee a hit. Two-fold kick is Gojo's last basic move. This move kicks your enemy up and down into the air. Like Rapid Punches, this is also to be used point blank. It has a little bit more reach, but you still need to be pretty close. Before we cover Gojo's ultimate, let's talk about some tricks with his basic moveset. Along with his normal moves, pressing R allows you to teleport a short distance in the direction you are facing. Comboing this with specific moves makes you extremely deadly. For example, hitting someone with Laps Blue, then looking up at them and pressing R will teleport and kick them down to the ground. This is a great combo for sending people off buildings. In fact, pressing R on any airborne enemy will do this kick move. Pressing R while using Reversal Red will allow you to teleport behind your enemy once Red hits as well. There are definitely some other tricks I'm probably missing, so comment those below for any newcomers. Now let's talk about Gojo's ultimate, Six Eyes. Once activated, your moves will change. Your blue and red moves will become max variations. Blue becomes a massive projectile which lingers and sucks people in. Red becomes an instant laser that does extreme damage. Hollow Purple is, well, Hollow Purple, and this move is also very deadly and fast. Your last move is Domain Expansion. Hitting this domain will cause your enemies to not be able to move within your domain. Use this chance to line up a killer Hollow Purple. Be careful because using Domain Expansion can actually be interrupted if somebody hits you in animation, so make sure you're safe before using that move. One final trick for Gojo's ult. Killing someone with Laps Blue Max will make the projectile linger for much longer. Shooting your Red Max into the lingering Blue Max will cause a Hollow Purple nuke. This will obliterate everyone in a massive radius and destroy the map around it. Once creating this nuke, you will lose your ultimate status, so use it towards the end of your ultimate. Next up, Yuji slash Sukuna. Yuji is the basic move set for this character. He throws straight hands and only hands with one counter move. His first move, Curse Strikes, is a dash followed by a barrage. This is a great combo starter as the end of it leaves your enemy ready to be struck again. Follow this up with Cursed Blow, slamming your enemy into the ground twice with insane force and causing destruction. Next is Divergent Fist, which has a Use Twice function. Using this move once will just be a strong punch. However, pressing it again at the exact moment your arm is drawn all the way back will cause your punch to become a devastating black flash. This is very strong and has a sick finisher. Your final move, Manji Kick, is a counter move. It counters most moves in this game, like Sukuna's Flame Arrow. Speaking of Sukuna, ulting as Yuji allows Sukuna to take over. This brings us to his ultimate moveset. Dismantle, your first move, cut your enemy for a good amount of damage. This has an okay range, but you can't hit someone super far away from you. Use this move in a combo as an extender. The next move, Open, will summon the infamous flame arrow to wipe out a massive chunk of the map. This move has a long wind up, so your enemy will most likely have a chance to attempt to dodge it. Be ready to predict and follow your enemy to land this move. You can also hit relatively close to them, so if they're standing next to a building, fire next to the building and they should be caught in the area of flames. Rush, your next move and my personal favorite, is a dash that instantly attacks and pushes your enemy back. Then you launch them in the air and slam them back down into the ground. 
This is a super fun move to use because you give everybody the Mega Me treatment. Last is your domain expansion. This domain is super strong and will force your enemies to constantly block. Pair this with your flame arrow and your enemies aren't going to have fun because they're going to get torched. One last trick for Sukuna, pressing R on someone point blank will force grab them and cleave them again. This is a great combo extender not everyone knows about. And the last character in early access is our boy Hakari. The Restless Gamber is super fun to use in this game. His basic moveset and domain are completed, but his super moves are still being developed at the time of this video. Let's start with his basic moveset. His first move, Reserve Balls, flicks a small ball at your enemies. This can be used to start or extend combos, a simple move with lots of use and range. His next move, Shutter Doors, will summon two doors to clamp down on your enemy, another great combo extender and damage dealing move. Your next move, Rough Energy, is a strong punch infused with cursed energy. This sends your enemy flying and works as a final blast in a combo. Also, Pressing R as Hakari will block with your doors, and I'm pretty sure if someone hits these doors, it will hit them back. So, think of this as like a counter as well. I could be wrong about that though, I actually haven't tested it in game. Now this is where Hakari gets really fun. His ultimate, unlike Gojo and Yuji, is actually his domain expansion. Using this domain will open Idle Death Gamble. Now, unlike the complicated ways the manga works, the game simplifies this down greatly. Using two moves as Hakari will initiate a scene in the domain. The character will begin walking towards some gates. If he attempts to walk and goes flying upwards, you failed the attempt. Don't worry, because using two moves again will replay the scene for you to try again. Also, on your fourth attempt, he will go through the gates, which initiates a jackpot. If the character managed to go through the gate at any point, you will gain infinite cursed energy. This gives you an insane speed of regeneration. It also unlocks your super moves. As of now, there are only two. Lucky Volley is a barrage of punches followed by a large punch. This is a very strong move, and Lucky Rushdown is a grab where you slam your enemy through a bunch of stuff before tossing them away. Well, well, well. The developers thought they could get me, huh? Because right when I was editing this video, I got the Discord announcement that a new move was literally just added when I was literally editing the portion for Hakari, so thank god I caught that first. Uh, the new move is called Overwhelming Luck, and I have absolutely no idea what it does, and I have also absolutely no idea where the dummy is to test this on. Oh wait, here he is. Okay. Uh, this is going to be a straight raw reaction because I actually I have zero clue what this will do. So let's find out. Oh, okay. I don't... What am I doing? How do I... Oh, what the heck? Okay. So it's like I... Okay, that's cool. You pick him up like a little wave actually. Hold on. Let's try that again. So it looks like you run around, you smash him once... I'm trying to pick him up. Okay, that move is very... Okay, wait. Let me try it from a distance. Maybe this is a move you want to hit from a distance. Running at him. Smack him in the face. Run after him some more. Kick him up in the air. Okay, yeah. So it's like a rush down move. Very cool. Okay, well, uh, yeah, that's all for Hikari. Back to the uh, me talking that I pre-recorded thing. Before I wrap up the guide, I want to point out one last thing. Around this area, slamming or breaking the map open will open a hole straight into the subway. Use this knowledge to outplay your opponents with some great setup. But yeah, now you should be a pro at this game. Take this knowledge and destroy your enemies with it. And to repay me for my efforts, make sure to like and subscribe, and check out my other video on Jujutsu shenanigans. Anyways, that's all. Good luck out there and thanks for watching. Peace.